Good morning. Here's a quick one with three things to think about next time you're out paddling on your forward stroke. So the forward stroke is one of those things that we think, okay, we got it. And no, I, I think it's more of a lifelong commitment to uh, having a better stroke because it's very easy to learn something new during a class. And then over time, our body gets lazy, it starts doing shortcuts, and we start not doing some of those things that make our forward stroke more efficient. So here's three things to think about next time you are paddling that maybe can make your forward stroke a little more efficient. Keep in mind that different paddles will have different techniques for strokes, and you might be doing a completely different stroke depending on the type of paddling you're doing. The first thing to think about, where are you putting your blade in? Where are you taking it out? Are you reaching out by your toes and trying to bring the blade all the way to your hips? Or are you just bringing it in right by your knees and then trying to get a little bit of a push on every stroke? Just reaching by your toes and putting the blade in early will give your stroke more time through the water and will make each one a bit more efficient. But then also, don't forget, don't let your blade make it all the way in the back of the kayak. You're not being really that efficient once it goes past your hips, in near your toes, out by the hips, in near your toes, out by the hips. Second thing, and I know we always discuss this, using your entire body, using your cores, driving with your legs, all this stuff. But then once we're in the water and we're just having fun, it's very easy to just forget and go back to paddling with just our hands. So if you're doing a stretch of paddling, you're with friends, you're paddling for the day, Try to think about, am I using my legs? Am I using my core? Am I using the rest of my body or just my arms? You don't have to be an Olympic paddler on every single stroke of your life, but you can try to incorporate as much of those things into your everyday paddling. So when you go into autopilot, let's say you're talking to a friend, you don't just lose that and start paddling with only your hands. It becomes part of your autopilot to go and use your entire body and use your legs and pump with your feet on those pegs and try and try to rotate in your seat for every stroke. And the last thing is a lot of times we forget to let our kayak glide. Uh, you don't have to paddle absolutely non-stop. You can paddle, let it glide, paddle, let it glide, paddle, let it glide. That way you're not wasting all that extra power on every single stroke. You're, once you get your, your kayak going, it'll glide for quite a bit. So why not slow down your strokes so that you could be a bit more efficient. So if you let it glide, it, there might come a time when for every 10 strokes, you're really now doing only seven. So you're able to save some of that energy in between each one of those strokes. That wouldn't add up to a lot if you're just paddling for a short time, but throughout the day, we do put in a lot of strokes. So once you get the kayak going, see if you can cut out, maintain the same speed, but let the kayak do some of the work for you. Because once you're going, it'll glide. So give that a try and see if it works for you. So those are three things to think about to try next time you're paddling and you're working on your forward stroke. If there's any questions, comments, anything you'd like to add, please do leave them below. Subscribe if you like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. As always, I'm Laura Thank you for watching and see you next time.